presentation. Our today's presentation is going to be on preposition of place. This video is brought to you by Sharif's Educare. In our today's presentation, the first point I am going to start with is the use of in. In is used to indicate inside something, inside a particular area, inside a box or inside a place. Like the smiley is in the box. We can also say the puppy is in the house. Next, the use of on. On is used to mean on the surface of something. Like the smiley is on the box. The teacher is writing on the board. And also say the cat is on the table. That means when we keep something on the surface of another thing, we use preposition on. Then the use of off. Off is the opposite of on. When we keep something on the surface, we use preposition on. But if something fallen from the surface, we use off. Like the smiley has fallen off the box. The cat jumped off the table. The next point we are going to focus on is the use of into. Into is used to mean from outside to inside. Like the smiley gets into the box. The little boy got into the garage with his bicycle. And the little kids are getting into the school bus. Then we are going to focus on the use of out of. Out of is the opposite of into. Out of is used to mean from inside to outside. That means if something get outside from inside, we use preposition out of. Like the smiley is getting out of the box. The little boy is getting out of the garage with his bicycle. The little, the little kids are getting out of the school bus or the bus. The next point we are going to discuss is the use of onto. Onto is a little bit different from the use of into. When something get inside from outside, we use preposition into. But in case of onto, the thing or the object fallen on the surface of something like the smiley has fallen onto the box. Or we can also cite another example here like the apple has fallen onto the ground. Use of through. Through is used to mean from one side to the other side, from beginning to end, and during an entire period. The plane is flying through the cloud. The smiley is passing through the box. Or the train is passing through the tunnel. Use of round. When something or someone moves around, we use preposition round. Like the earth moves around the sun. Here in the picture, we are seeing that the earth is moving around the sun. Then the use of over and above. If something is particular, particularly upon another thing, and the object is motionless like this fan, we can use both over and above. Like the fan is above or over the boy. But if something is angularly upon another thing, like these words, we can use preposition above there. But if something moves or flies over another thing, preposition over is used. Like the bird flies over the cloud. Then the use of under and below. The boy is under or below the fan. That means when something is perpendicularly or directly under or below something, we can use both under and below. But if something is angularly below something, like the old lady, we use preposition below there. Like the old lady is below the fan. Now, the use of to and towards. 
to is used to mean the destination of someone like the boy is going to school the destination of this boy is the school next the use of towards towards is used to mean direction like the boy is going towards the school here the direction of the boy was the school but his destination was the shop use of along and across along is used to mean moving forward or backward following the road or path like the car is running along the road the car is running along the road now the use of across when something or someone crosses the road or path we use preposition across like the ducks are walking across the road or we can also say the kids are running across the road using zebra crossing use of in front of between or behind here the supercar is in front of the school bus the ambulance is behind the school bus and the school bus is between the car and the ambulance preposition used for front back left and right for front and back we use preposition at like the food truck is at the back and the taxi is at the front for left and right we use preposition on like the supercar is on the left and the fire truck is on the right use of opposite the old lady is standing opposite the school when two thing is face to face and there is a gap between them we use opposite to each other use of up and down the little boy is going up when someone or something goes up we use preposition up and when someone or something goes down we preposition we use preposition down there the man is going down the stairs use of by beside and near by or beside is used to mean next to something very close to each other in case of by and beside two things are very close to each other like there is a school by or beside the hospital near is used to mean beside something but a little away than beside like there is a shop near the school so this was all from uh, from my part thanks for watching